I've featured a number of Borealis here on my channel. A few of their dive watches, a field watch, and today I have one of their pilot's watches. This is the Icarus. It's a very nicely made Swiss automatic pilot's watch in a very nice size with plenty of very nice details. So getting right into it, it comes in a leather package, which is sort of a travel pouch. It's for one watch inside. You get a watch and a warranty card. I don't get the warranty card because this is a reviewer's watch. However, here it is. You can see, as I mentioned, this is a 38 millimeter watch. I've measured just about 38 millimeters uh, on that case. So it comes out to like 38.1 or 38.2, somewhere around there. Uh, the lug to lug is about 47 millimeters. This is a true lug to lug because you do not get uh, molded end links of any sort. Uh, and then it is a thin watch because you are getting a Swiss automatic, as I mentioned, and that Swiss automatic is the Ronda R150, a movement that I am very happy to see in another watch. So 11.1 millimeters thick. So not a thick watch. And it does get a screwing crown and screwing case back 100 meters of water resistance. Uh, that Ronda is obviously a new movement to the scene and a lot of watches are starting to pick it up because not only is it a good looking movement, but it looks like it's pretty robust as well. They put a lot of work into developing that movement and when they came out with it, uh, a lot of brands took notice and it's actually a little bit more affordable than the competition, I believe. So you're getting a Swiss movement in here for a very, very good price. Now, you might notice a couple of little details on the case of this watch as well. The buckle, the crown, the case, and the bezel are Cerakoted, not bead blasted. The case back is bead blasted in stainless steel. So this is 316 nail stainless steel, and it basically has that Cerakote coating throughout except for the case back, which is where uh, you know the watch comes in contact with your skin. You have the little Borealis logo there, uh, which is the mermaid. I'll throw a picture of that, a close-up picture of it so you can see. 100 meters, as I mentioned, so you do get a screwed in case back with that screwed in crown, which is Cerakoted, and it has the Borealis logo there as well. The buckle, as I mentioned, is also Cerakoted. It is also signed. Uh, it's sort of like an IWC style buckle. Nice little buckle, looks really good. And then you have a really nice thick pilot strap on it, brown leather on both sides, basically the same leather on both sides, stitching, and it just says Borealis, very nicely made. So uh, the crown on here also, just to show you very quickly, I measured about six millimeters. Uh, which is a very nice crown size for a 38 millimeter watch. This gets a sapphire crystal with AR coating, of course. Black dial, X1 old radium loom that is on the dial and on the hands. The hands are thermal blued hands, so these are heat treated hands uh, and they look really good against that black background along with that uh, old radium that they are filled with that matches the indices on the dial. Very simple dial. It only says Borealis there above the, uh, or just below the 12 o'clock, and that is it. Really nice touch. They did a very good job with this. I believe that the entire second hand is loom, but we'll do a loom shot at the end. Usually Borealis put a ton of loom on the dials uh, of their watches in the hands because uh, that's just what they do. So that's not a bad thing. This does get a date and it's almost invisible because it has a black color match date wheel to that black matte dial, so you can barely see the date, and I like that, because it's there when you wanna see it, and it's not when you don't. So it's right there at the three o'clock, it takes the place of the three o'clock indice, uh, and I think it looks pretty balanced. I do like it a lot. Now, the price on this is actually really good, considering all of the little details. You're getting that Cerakote, um, this is $429 for a Swiss automatic watch with a Cerakoted case. And they're not doing their half and half type thing that they've done in the past, and I'm really glad they've done away with that. You pay for it up front. This is going out for delivery in October, and that is it. So at the end of October is when they're saying it's going to be delivered. There might be slight delays, you know, COVID and all that stuff, but that's what they're saying currently. $429, you pay it all up front. There's no half and half. That is really good. I think that's a way better uh, way of doing things for them uh, rather than asking for half and then doing half later. I've always been a little confused by that. They definitely sell all of their watches. They make uh, pretty much 
every single run of watches that they have, they basically sell out of because they make some really cool watches. And this is a really cool Pilots watch. So as I said, 38 millimeters, I'm gonna throw it on my wrist so you guys can see it, and then we're gonna do a loom shot. Uh, but today I am wearing a much larger watch, but not that much larger, it's 41 millimeters or 42 millimeters. This is the Mirage from Zelos, and it's a really awesome watch. This is the Le Jupere movement, hand wound, uh, pretty incredible watch, about $3,000, but uh, really, really awesome. Anyway, here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. Now, this is a 38 millimeter watch uh, with a 47 millimeter lug to lug. It's an 11 millimeter thick watch. So it is not a thick watch. And the color of the Cerakote that they chose very much mimics the look of bead blasted steel. However, it's just a shade darker. So it actually looks really cool. It looks a little bit different from your average sort of bead blasted watch. Um, and it goes really well with the dial, that black, deep black dial, and then that X1 Old Radium. The Old Radium, I'm a big fan of. Uh, I've always said this. Old Radium, I think, looks really cool, especially when you're doing a vintage-inspired watch. Uh, not to say that this is vintage-inspired, but definitely has vintage cues to it. Um, and I think it looks really good, especially with that case, the dial, the hands. Everything comes together very nice. And don't forget, you're getting that Ronda r150 inside which is an awesome really a phenomenal movement sapphire crystal as well which is slightly beveled just above the case that you could see a little glint when i move my wrist uh, tapers down so nicely as well just a really classic looking pilot's watch uh, very quickly let's do a loom shot and then we'll wrap up the video yeah borealis never let me down with loom and like i said that second hand the entire second hand is loomed except for the little area that is blued, that heat blued area on the second hand that is obviously not loomed, but you can see the hands very liberally applied with loom, the indices, all of the dashes, everything is very liberally applied with loom. Borealis don't skimp on the loom, they do a really good job. I think that they are offering this at an excellent price and I have to say, I don't think there's anything that I could find wrong with this watch. I like the movement, I like what they did with the case, it's 100 meters of water resistant. It has a screw down crown, screwed in case back. Everything is really nice. Even the strap is on point. And they even Cerakoted the uh, buckle to go along with the case. Excellent. They've done a great job on this watch. $429 is a steal uh, for a Swiss automatic pilot's watch that looks this good with this much loom. Um, Got to say, this is pretty impressive. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. I know Borealis, I've featured them a few times on the channel, and I do sing their praises because they make a very good watch for a very good price. And I'm glad, one of the things that I've always had a sort of a little qualm with is their sort of buying process. And I'm glad they did away with it for this watch. Hopefully they do away with it for their rest of their watches eventually. But uh, for this watch, it's just pay for it and then it's delivered, which is great. I think that's the way to go for them. Um, awesome watch, really beautiful pilot's watch. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watch Chris blog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.